In this lesson, we are going to update categories. Now, in the last section, we created a separate view for editing to do's. But in this case, we are going to actually use exactly the same form. And the reason we are doing this is so that we don't get to have too many views in our application. Okay. It's really important because if you have, you know, 20 resources, you can't have update, update, create over and over. It's kind of like duplication, especially when the forms look exactly the same. So how are we going to handle this? First, we'll go to our categories controller, which is in the controllers folder right here. And then we're going to go to the edit method. And how do I know it's supposed to be the edit method? If you check out at send route list, you can see that we have categories.edit, which is used in the categories at edit method. And this is used to edit a specific category. And if you check out the route right here, you see that we have category as the dynamic part, which means that we can automatically inject the category right here using route model binding so right here we don't need to find the category again from the database lava is going to find it for us and inject it right here okay so i'm going to return view categories dot create but this time around i'm going to send an argument which is with category and this is going to be category we need to go to the index .php which is categories index.blade.php and we are going to add a link to visit the edit page for a category. So I'm going to have th and that's just going to be empty because I want an action button. And here I'm going to have a TD and this is going to have an a.button.button info.button small. And this is going to have edit as the text. Now, I want to make sure it links to the edit route. So I'm going to pass route and the name of the route. If you check out route list, it's categories.edit. So I'm going to pass in categories.edit right here. But we have an argument in the route called category. So we need to provide this argument. So here as a second parameter, I'm going to pass in category ID. And the route method is going to automatically generate the route using this dynamic property right here. Okay. So if we come to categories, you can see we have an edit button and let's just view the page source. If you check out the list right here, you can see that the edit links to the URL categories slash number or the ID of the category, then edit. Okay. So let's click on one of those. And as expected, it finds the category and then displays this create view. What we want to do is modify the create view so that if we are editing, then it shows something else. But if we are creating, then it shows something else. Okay. So if we're going to come right here to the create.blade.php and let's start with the title of this form. So we're going to say if is set category because the category is only going to be available if we are editing so if it's set category then this is going to say edit category else it's going to say create category so we can use a ternary like this so if i refresh this page since category is set we have edit category but if we come back to categories click on add category you can see we have create category okay so let's continue right here. We have value. We have the input. So I'm going to have a value right here and I'm also going to use a ternary. So it's set category. Then it should, the value should be category name. Then else it should be empty string. Okay, so if the value of category is available, or if this variable is defined, then use the category name as the value of this input, else use an empty string. So this is create category. You can see an empty string, but if you come to categories, click on edit, you can see it's filled with WordPress, as simple as that. Okay, next, what about the action? 
the action at the moment is a post okay but what we want to do is actually a patch request let me show you if you look at the update this is a put and it actually goes to category slash update and it goes to the update method okay so what we want to do is use this route if we are updating and use this one if we are creating so there's a lot to learn here so what we're going to do is use our is set right here to define the route so we're going to say is set category then we're going to use a route for the category which is going to be categories dot update and we have to pass in the id of the category we're trying to update right because notice it has a dynamic category right there so we have to pass in category id okay and then else we're just going to pass in route categories dot store okay so if i refresh this right now and you view the page source notice that the form submits to cms.ping slash categories slash one okay but if we come back to categories and then click on add category check out the page source and check out the form you see it goes to categories okay but now how do we solve the problem of the fact that this is a method post but our route defines a method as put or patch now the web only supports get post routes and by the web i mean forms so forms only have a method post or a method get but if we are trying to make a put request then what we need to do is add at method and have put right here and level is going to know we are trying to make a put request if it was patch then we're gonna have patch right here if it was delete then we're gonna have delete right there okay so this is how we tell Lavo if we are making a post a put request or a patch request or delete request so make sure you don't forget to put this but then we only want this to be put if the user is updating so we can use an if statement so if is set category and if then we can simply post method right here so at method so let me show you what this is going to do this is create category right if you view the page source nothing out of the ordinary we just have our hidden input right here okay but now let's visit our categories edit wordpress view the page source and you scroll to the bottom you'd see we have a hidden input right here called token and we have another hidden input called underscore method and the value is put and this is simply going to tell Lavo that hey this is written post right here but it's actually a put request and we are going to use this to update the category okay so let's change the text in the bottom so right here it says add category but what we're going to do is check if category is set so it set category then this is going to say update category else add category so if i refresh we have update category okay now let's go to our categories controller and do the work at the moment if we click on this it just does nothing right because our update method is empty and how do i know it's the update method again our routes list so you can see right here it says categories that update goes to the update method okay now we have request right here but like i said to keep our code very clean we are always going to have custom requests for specific requests so we're going to make a new request add make request and this is going to be update category request right but what do you think we can keep our code cleaner by putting all the requests for re for categories in a separate categories folder so i'm gonna say categories slash update categories request okay so if we check that out now you can see we have a folder called categories 
and we have update categories request right there. So I'm also going to just move this into that folder. So the two of them are in the categories folder right now, but for the create, I have to make sure I update the namespace because we now have a categories folder. So app HTTP request then categories. Okay. So also if you check out the update, you can see it has the correct namespace since it was generated by Lavo. Okay. So now we come to our categories controller and we need to use the create category request correctly by adding categories right here since we've updated the namespace and we also have to use update categories request. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to come here and where we have update, we're going to have update categories request instead. Okay. Now let me just come back to the update categories request and make sure authorize is set to true for now. And then make sure that I copy the validation rules from here and paste them right here. Okay. So we want to make sure the name is required and the name is unique to the categories table. Okay. If we come back to our categories controller, one last thing, if you can see the ID right here, this ID represents the dynamic part of the URL. So at route list. You can see we have the category that we are trying to update right here. So we can use route model by indeed by simply saying category and the category is going to be injected here by Lavo. So in cases where we want to get the request, then we type in the request first and then we type in the dynamic property. Okay. So here we're going to say category name is going to be equal to request name. And finally, we're just going to call category save then return redirect to the route for viewing all categories which is categories dot index and we can also flash a message session flash and would have a success message and this is going to be category updated successfully Okay, so let's come back to this, go back, refresh this form, change this to WordPress version 4.8, click on update category and great. We have WordPress version 4.8 right here and it says category updated successfully. All right, this is awesome. But I want to show you another way of updating instead of doing this. Okay, I kind of prefer the faster way. So we're going to call a method called update on the category, pass in an array of values we want to update and that's just going to be it. So category update, we pass the name and then flash a message and return redirect. Just as simple as that. So if we try this out again, edit this to WordPress version 4.9, update category, exactly the same thing. All right. So as simple as that, we have category creation and update in application. In the next lesson, we'll deal with the delete for categories and that's going to be it. Okay. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on in the next lesson.